Let's talk about the upcoming week and why investors are freaking out about the 10-year treasury yield. And don't worry, if you don't know what the 10-year is, I'm going to break down the mechanics of this. That way we can all better understand what exactly is going on in the markets. So the last short while has been pretty rough with report after report showing that the economy might not be faring quite as well as expectations. Inflation is on the rise with near record high CPI reports and consumer confidence is starting to shrink down to pandemic type levels. And the next week is going to be very telling as to what we can expect in the next quarter or so in the markets and how the year may finish off. So this week we have a lot of things going on. This week we have earnings from some huge companies including Netflix, Johnson & Johnson, uh, Coca-Cola, American Express, and many more. And high earnings here could give stocks and equities a much needed morale boost and only time will tell exactly how those earnings pan out. Then on Tuesday, we'll also receive new data on housing starts, which is just a, a fancy way of saying new residential construction projects. And then on Thursday, we have more data on existing home sales. However, one big factor that is surprising and concerning investors right now is the shrinking 10-year Treasury note yield. At first, this was kind of looked at as a good thing because investors thought, oh, hey, you know, this just means that my favorite tech stock or my favorite growth stock will still be able to borrow at a cheap rate. And then the rate just kept on going down. And, and now we're getting more and more worried and just perplexed about the situation. So it kind of went like this. Let me let me just pull up the 10-year the chart. So this is the 10-year uh, Treasury note rate chart, so the yield chart. Uh, and this is you know, from August of 2020 until present day. So we saw this, this yield increase through about March, and then the yield was starting to decrease. And this is when people were like, oh, you know, my tech stock, my growth stock is, is just going to be able to borrow at a lower rate. This is overall okay. And then, you know, the rate started going down a little bit more, and people were like, okay, I guess it's, a, it's an even lower rate. Borrowing's even lower. I guess, I guess that's okay. And then it started going lower, and people were like, all right, that, you know, that's probably good. You know, let's just let's just stop it there. Maybe even out the rates a little bit, maybe even go up a little bit. And then they kept going down and people were like, okay, all right, that's, that's quite, <laughs> that's enough. I don't know what's going on. And that's kind of where we're at right now, where these yields are now at 1.31%. And the golden number right now would be around like 1.4 is what some economists are saying. So there is uh, some concern in, <laughs> in the markets right now with this. And this is especially concerning because a shrinking yield generally means investors are getting worried and buying these ultra safe assets, even at a time where yields are already at rock bottom rates due in part to quantitative easing, which is basically just the Fed buying bonds, which increases the demand and lowers the yields. Now, if you're confused, don't worry, I am too, but let's break this all down and I promise it will make a whole lot more sense. You'll be able to, to picture how this is affecting the market. So in order to explain this, we're gonna go over to the iPad here. I made a nice little presentation for us all. Also, while we're at it, make sure you grab some free stocks linked down in the description. With Webull, all you have to do is deposit $100. You'll get two free stocks, plus they'll send me a free stock as a thank you. If you haven't done it yet, you might as well do it because it's basically free money. All right, let's go over this presentation. So this is the 10-year treasury note. It always has a nice fancy building on if you look at like a treasury. So I just drew a nice building as a $1,000 price, 10-year T note. So the current yield tells us about the current economic landscape, what the expectations are for the future, and global market sentiment, how people feel about the future, which is very related with the current economic landscape. And here's how it works. The 10-year always has a face value of $1,000. That's how much you get paid from the government after your holding period ends. We're gonna explain this even further. And they always have an interest rate to be paid to you as an investor loaning the government money. And this is also called the coupon. Now, notes are sold to banks and financial institutions from the Fed. So the Fed sells banks and institutions these notes, and then the 10-year is sold on a secondary market to you and I and you know any other investor. And the secondary market is what actually determines the rates, the rates that we were looking at that, that are shrinking. Now, this is where it can get confusing because the treasury price, a tre the treasury price increasing actually means the treasury yield is decreasing. So when you hear treasuries are going up or they're getting more expensive, that means the yield is going down. Or that works vice versa, where if you hear the yield is going down, that means the price is going up. So uh, 
So let's explain why this happens. This is because a 10 years face value is not equal to what you pay. It's equal to what you receive in return. So that thousand dollar face value is what you receive from the government after the time has passed. So you loan the government a set amount of money and then they give you $1,000 back for each of these notes. So you pay less than that $1,000 amount unless for whatever reason yields are negative. But uh, we're not going to get into that on this one. But, but how much less? This is what that secondary market determines. That's what the yield is, the rate of return on these notes. And here's the math on how it works. So if you buy a 10-year for $900, I don't know why I wrote just BY, I'm, I'm really doing shorthand here. So if you buy a 10-year for $900, the yield is 11.1%. And that's because you can do some simple math, taking 1,000 divided by your purchase price of 900, that equals 1.11. 0.11 is your 11, it, it's, it's one repeating, so 11.1% return. Now, let's say demand for the 10-year goes up. More people want to buy the 10-year because they want an ultra safe investment. Now, when the demand goes up, that means the price of these notes also goes up. So let's say the price went from $900 and now the price is $975 for that same 10-year $1,000 treasury note. The yield here now decreased to 2.5% because of that same math, $1,000 divided by 975 equals 1.025, which is your 2.5, it's actually 2.6% yield. Now, what increases the demand? And this is where the economic uncertainty comes in. Because, again, investors buy more of these ultra safe treasury yields. This is considered the most safe investment ever because the US government has never defaulted on any of these or has never failed to pay these obligations. So when you're looking for the most safe investment, you buy these bonds. And you buy these bonds because you feel that that the market uncertainty or where the market is headed is too risky, so you're allocating more of your money into this. Now, what's especially concerning is these rates are already very low due to that quantitative easing. The Fed is buying $120 billion worth of federal securities, not all bonds, but $120 billion a month. And this actually increases the, the demand, which again, decreases that yield. So the yield is kind of artificially low right now, yet it's getting lower and lower because institutions, mostly institutions, some individual buyers, are, are buying these bonds still at the artificially low price. So that screams uncertainty and concern in the market that they're that they're buying these super low yield investments because they feel that ultra low yield is still a better investment than somewhere else than anywhere else really and the opposite is true too when these yields are extremely high that means that money is being allocated into riskier investments so when we saw the yields going up going back over to this chart when we saw the yields going back up months ago this meant that money was being allocated into more risky investments than the treasury note. And now we're seeing it shrink. And that's overall concerning because we're supposed to be on this, this economic upswing. So what happens in, in the next you know, few weeks as far as bond prices will be really telling as to what's going on with the sentiment uh, in the markets and earnings this week, next week, the week after that will help feed into this. And if we have any other indicators that give us a little bit of positive notion in the market, like, you know, maybe the next CPI report happens to be better than expected, this would help out the rates here and boost sentiment, which is really what we need, the boosted sentiment. So we don't know exactly what's going to happen next, but now you understand the, some of the inner workings as to what's going on here. So I would like to thank you so much for watching. Just make sure you like this video and subscribe if you like this type of in information. I know I've been going really into the nitty gritty because a lot of you have been enjoying it. So uh, let me know your thoughts down in the comments. And again, I'd like to thank you for watching and I hope you have a profitable day.